Hello folks and welcome back to New Man's Land. Here we are with the corn. I forgot we had corn in storage, so what I'm going to do is actually take it over to the extended oil plant and put it in there. We got like 190,000 a year or so, we'll just put two of those in for now. And I think we've got some soybeans as well in there, which I completely forgot about. Yeah, the goal for today is we know we've got the grass fields to mow again. But we're going to be doing something different this time. We're going to actually be using these clamps here. We're going to be collecting the grass and get into this good old massive soil clamps. Fury show need one, but I've got no idea actually, so. in you. So we've got donuts here, scrum dum yum just. Oh yeah, also yeah, we've got the straw that needs to move in. I will just push this out of the way. So yeah, I just want to make sure that is turned on. So yeah, corn's going in, and we've got sunflower, not soybeans. My put corrections there. So yeah, 52,000 litres, it's got a huge capacity. So when we harvest the sunflower and that... Move out of the way. Stop it. Move. There you go. But yeah, one thing with sunflowers over here... Is it sunflowers we planted on here? And that needs liming on that section which we did not do. And that is a big oof on my part. I thought we liked it, but... Yeah, I remember the plowing it, that took a while, but yeah. That's my bad on that, so. Anyways, let's quickly get this all transferred over and then we'll start doing the brass work. And now, so that's the bit of the corn picked up. We've also got the sunflower in, so if we have a little look here. Without crashing that meal. Yeah, as I was saying, 32,000 years of sunflower in. And that lasts us uh, a month. Less than a month in that, but I think this has a high throughput. This is certainly one of my top mods with no like, production wise. That, along with the farm supply factory. Yeah, I think it's two buildings, but it's part of one mod pack, so... That's why that has one. Built in the hue, we've got the Magnum with... The conventional wind rower and a forge wagon. Oh, no, actually... There's been an update to Stone Picker, hasn't it? So if we have a look here, go okay, Stone Pickers, Stone Picker Trader. That's got the Forge Wagon, and that is a 16 meter working width of a capacity of, was it 250,000 litres? So yeah, actually, we could just do that instead. Screw that. Yeah, so let's go with that instead. So we go and... Ah, the thing is though, will it have size additive? Yeah, that's the question, does it? So, actually also another question is... Is it over here? I think I left... Yeah. Left over here. By the gold production, and that is just absolutely filthy. Just look at that caked in mud, it's very red. It looks like it's red, but a dark red, perhaps, or at the moment it just looks brown. That definitely needs to be washed. 
Also, I need fuel. Fuel and repair, so... Let's go over here and do that. Also, yeah, there's a bunch of grass that we forgot to pick up last time. There's like, a couple of furnace strips of those about that we can just completely forgot. Don't know why, but... I'm sure there's a reason. Maybe we tried bathing last time or something on those lines, so... Uh, I don't know. But yeah, was this originally brown or was it just red? Oh no, it was brown. Well, it's brown and silver now. <laughs> but, you know, that has taken a toll. Just yeah, that was brown. Why did I paint it brown? Brown of all colors, white brown. Or was it like a crimson colour that I went for? Oh, it could be that as well. Yeah, now I can see just all the metal. Was these rollers brown as well? Because that's definitely more metal than brown. God. Oh, the wear on this is actually like detail, I do love it. Oh god, that is just absolutely peppered. Would I need to repurchase this though? Well, that's a question. Obviously, do you have a goal of 10 mils or if it's an arbitrary goal? Oh no. <laughs> Brown. Why did I pick brown? I don't mean get all, all uffy tuffy about it, but out of all colours, white brown. And this was because of an update or something that may have changed colour selection. Could be. And that is a certain possibility. But yeah, 250,000 litres. And new, no, it does not have a forage on oh no, a side additive. Oh, do we want to go with this? Because then we could do 20 meters, have a better pickup. You know what? Heck it. Just for this episode, let's go with something a bit different, change things up a bit. And you know what? I'm going to. And was that used? Or what? I'm not sure the kind of headers for bits, but yeah. Getting distracted, so go to stone pickers. Four hours! Four hours? That's done that. At least from far, you didn't really see the metal much, but when you look at close. God. Nope, nope, not on to Westfield. Rebound. There we go. And many flips later. That's the one thing this does need is a slightly additive. Try to think. If I was like, when that's folded, is there a space? Oh, uh, yeah, just about, you know top of this section here be a small additive tank. I'd go and update or yeah apart from that yes yeah, certainly that little gap there. Could definitely squeeze in the additive tank. Oops, that's the blade sort of get chopped up like that. But yeah so No, no, it won't work because obviously we're doing. I was thinking of leaking both together. I should just try that. As you know. Ah, I got an idea. Get the draw bar. Where's that to? Because without. 
Oh no, it was a free. Is there a free ping in the linkage system? Miscellaneous. Draw bar. Go under tools. Miscellaneous. Yeah, it's a free pin linkage system. Lower link balls. But what if we say hook it up at the other end? Nah, I do think that's gonna work. Try to think of oh, no. Now that's for the forest harvesters and that. Oh well. It was worth a thought, so no, I don't think that's gonna work actually. So there are that. This also needs fuel. And didn't fuel that as well, so hopefully you don't need fuel. Swap drop in. Everything's good. And there we go, we are mowing, so I'm gonna start off with just doing the headlands and then we'll start going up and down. And we could be doing all the grass, not just the fields, but everything else on top of that. So this is gonna take a lot of work. So what you're gonna see in the next three minutes is the time lapse of us getting this all done. Yeah, it should be about three minutes long. Gets done, gets all picked up, and then we will put it all into the site plan. And then afterwards, once we're done, it's the massive task of compacting it. But yeah, it's gonna take a while. But for you folks, less than three minutes.
there we go. So very quickly we swapped over to tight because after the first of those, for some reason, is want to pick up stones again. Don't know why. Also, there's issues with the wind rover itself on the picker trader. I think that's going to be fixed in the upcoming update. And fairness, that may be out as a recording is. Apparently, it's like a hot fix update, so. Giants may pull that through quickly. But anyway, so we've got a pit full of silage. Currently, we've got two, well, basically 2.85 mil. A couple of thousand litres are out of here, but we can pick that up, not a problem. And yeah, for what took you folks watching about three minutes, it took me the best part of like four hours, four and a half hours almost. And yeah, it's 78% compacted, so what I'm going to do is actually pick up some of that excess. I'm going to be using use this, so there we go. If we just do that and then just go bounce it up. There we go. Because I think we get about 2% compaction per pass normally with just the tractor. I did think about using the John Deere now, but it does struggle with us, so if I sort of demonstrate for because we sort of compare the weights between them. The case 18.6 tons, John Deere. 33.6 tons, that's without any weights or anything. It does have like a one or two ton weight on the front. But even if you be optimistic, so if we go on the sides, does it alright. But see, it just gets bogged down, does And actually, I think with the fill volume now, it takes more to compact it. If we go over top, see so it just bogs down it does in the silage. And even if it was relatively flat, a little bit bumpy here and there, but... Yeah, it just bogs down so much. And actually, I think I've got an idea, so let's grab a tree of sec. Let's get that compacted quicker. Yeah, we need weight. Let's get a lot of weight. Let's try this first of all. So this is filled up with lime. And I forget the weight. So the actual weight of the spreader itself is 17.6 tons. And the weight with the fertilizer spreader and that, that is an additional 21 tons. And I think that's without. I think that is without the line. I'm not sure actually on that. Now, keep the tracks spread apart. If that gets up to 83%, that is better. Yeah, that does it a lot better. Yes, yeah, so until that is 2.886 mil. I've got up again, so there we go. Just see yeah, again, box on a little bit. It's got twins and that, so does a very good job of this. And then back down, yeah, about two percent per pass, so just another seven and a bit times, seven, eight times. This should be done, so you know what? Let's get this done, shall we?
slightest work done. We are compacted. Yeah, did tip that. Well, I knew it was going to possibly happen with shorten the wheelbase, but to the risk, we'll recover that at some point, but don't need it now. But yeah, the grass field, that four hours it takes every two months, basically every two episodes is going to be four hours off. One thing we need to do is invest in the second mower, and also actually with 27, 28, 38 and 39, we need to plow those fields up, but oh god, but yeah, first of all we need to do is collect straw, because we're out of straw for the cows, but anyway, so we got the trailer now. And yeah, let's go and pick up these bells. So I don't think the cows accept our bells as it is. We need to like, shred them and dump them. If that's the case, then that's fine. That's because we can just put it into the silo and all that. Move the John Deere out of the way. As we did move some logs and now, like, we had like 1400 litres of wood chips and that got some ground. So Nothing worth showing there when I did that earlier on. But yeah, let's go and get these bells. Boop, 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 boop. There we go, three bells. Yeah, we could go with a different trailer that holds like 42 bells or whatever it is. So we'll notice I'll push that over. But yes, let's just go and see. So, right here's 270,000 litres of straw. And yeah, most of this is going to be for the cows or TMR production. So, actually, let's put the first bunch in there. Then the next lot could be just for the cows. Entirely, regardless of anything. Yeah, they've got straw coming in and all that from the harvest we'll be doing in maybe the next episode or maybe doing in this episode. There we go, take the spells please. So that's got how much straw now in total? Having a look straw. 820,000 a year, so that's got more than enough straw. Actually, first thing to put straw in there. But yeah, donuts are doing well. Had on the pancakes, we saw some pancakes in that episode. But yeah, it's still things like little productions on the side as well, plus our income. Yeah, maybe not making as much money, but we still got tons of digesting. We can sell actually how much digestive do we have? So if we go up having a look digestate Wow one point two million liters of digestate so prices where is that to go down to digestate Let's just have a look. Currently, you get grand flat Surrey yards, but we're in July, and yeah, we'll wait till November or December. Yeah, I keep on building up. That is a very good production BGA. Yeah, it's quite intense with what it requires. Yeah, that we're turning down the size production, but. So yeah, we've got 2.8 million litres of silage. What am I going to do with all that silage? 2.8 million litres. It's going to be a very good conveyor system, let's put that way. I've got an idea for a conveyor system. That's what goes over parts of the BGA in that. And then directly into the farm supply production, but... I'm not too sure yet what I'm going to do on there. Actually, you know what? Let's go and unload these. Shrap them down. 
that's the thing I like about this trick, is just unstrap them, or unload them, and strap them on. Little cheeky way of doing bells. But yeah, obviously, you've got the wheat and that. Was it wheat or barley? I think it's barley you've got in the ground at the moment. We have a little look. I oh, know it's wheat actually, so yeah, got massive wheat harvest. Then we got the cotton to do and sunflower. What so group seats like? See, and we was tipped over there. So sunflower. Can't remember when we planted, but October or November. And same with the cotton, October or November. Pretty sure it was cotton we did put it in early. But I can't recall on the sunflower. But yeah, that's gonna be a lot of work. So anyways. Let's go and have a little see here, so go into here. Do they take anything? straw is not going up. Not a single thing. Yeah, it's got to be belt. I've got to be shredded new spell, so... Oh, well, that's fine. We'll go do that. Actually, before we do anything with the straw, we did buy some more bells and that. Well, more straw bells. More than actually intended. Oh, it's just an issue with the load of big wrong bells and all that good stuff, wrong type, so... But one, I just noticed our sheep are out of grass. And we've got no grass, no hay whatsoever, so... Let's go and remedy that now, quickly. There we go. Come on, come down, boys. Come on, down. There we go. So there we go, we've got 30 bells here of hay. That is what, 195-ish thousand litres? Or was before I stupidly went to the cell trigger. Let's not do that again, please. But yeah, so one thing we do is quickly give the sheep some hay. And actually, even there's not going to be like, the thumbnail and that, so let's upgrade the sheep now, because we're dealing about getting the second sheep pen in. Increase our wool production. If at the moment we're not botnecking, we're not underproducing or anything, it would be just good to have extra wool in, and once it fills up and that, or if it does fill up, then we can just sell the wool off individually. But this is going to last some ages. 190,000 litres, they only take like 60,000 litres. No, because yeah, I was like going around here, I was emptying the bells, and I thought, hmm, only one bell? We've been going on for, well, at least five hours. For when we start doing the bloody uh, work and that. Ah, we're out of fuel. How I did not see that come in. So, this year, everything today has been just. Run a little fuel. Oh, uh, uh, I forget. Grab John Deere since that's over here. Okay, one thing I want to see before we go is quickly plow up that grass meadow over there and get into a field. But a lot of that's going to be done off camera. I know that for sure. You know, it's plowing and that, plowing and seeding. Actually, how big is our cedar? I'm pretty sure we've got the biggest cedar possible, right? Right at that stage, now we need the biggest of everything and multiples of it, if that. Uh, we, of which we do, yeah, 18.2 meters. So I don't think there's anything else on the mod hub that's bigger than 18 meters. 15 meters. Yeah, 18.2. 17.8 for the planter. 
Oh, dang it. If Only if that did. Oh, that would be nice to do that, but it doesn't do grass. It's only a planter. Uh, that's the thing I've sort of noticed like, on a mod home like with FS22 is like. Uh, okay, maybe it's actually not planters because it's got like custom modding and a few other modders who do like planters and that, but ain't that much seeding option. There's only like small ones and all that, so. But yeah. I'm yeah, not sure on that part. Oh, but as well, whilst we're here, fill the John Deere. Now it's got 4,500 litres of diesel left. Certainly, we'll be topping that up before the end of this series. Uh, that's the thing as well, it's like, if I did a good way to end the series, so... I think we'll still get up to at least 100, 100 episodes, we're on, we're on almost halfway there. I don't think we're going to do 100 episodes. But saying that, we're still going to do groups and all that. And that's going to be unfortunately next year, so. There's more episodes out like of that, but apart from that, I don't know. And what? That's all good. I'll take this over. Yeah, we really should be using this a lot more than that as well, especially doing the heavy duty stuff. But then again, that case is so versatile as well. There we go. And that's recovered. I know they take bells, but perhaps not from the trader. No, it's gonna be unnoticed, so bear with me a sec. And just like that, that is sheep's in, so sold sheep's got the pen. And we're just placing down some extra bells for them. No, I don't want the bells. I'll take them with me, use it is, but. Whack it over here. So you got plenty of hay. That's going to last them a while. Or at least until we do our next cut of grass in September, which I'm already drained to. But anyways, let's quickly end the episode with doing the time lapse of ploughing up this. Meadow. Man, that's gonna take forever to do. Like, yeah, you can fast farm with this, but when I've tried it with the original G Mega Fields, yeah, I have so many issues with it flexing like side to side. Which sort of makes sense because you can sort of see it sort of flexes and droops on the edges. When you put the, that two weight setup solution to get the fast farm in with the uh, plows and that. With this one at least it flexes way too much. But yeah, so hopefully this helps us with speeding up the grass work because yeah, three hour no four and a bit hours to do plowing on well, those no, grass work in general is a bit long actually. So yeah, I think we we'll start doing this down near in first. Yeah, there's some grass we didn't pick up. Not the end of the world. I don't mind going over some of these because obviously I want to make it one big field. And yeah, we're getting rocks, but not much. May rock picker, may not. I think in fairness, like how long have we been doing this for? Six hours already, so. I'll give it a miss this time. But yeah, so anyways, we'll get this done. And I'll see you folks in a few moments.
And there we go. Some time later. Boy, was that painful to do. But anyways, we did get the grass filled. Sorry, we've got that all plowed up. Got it seeded. And for the most part, we got it rolled. And with your grass field, we got it mulched. To, again, to the best part of our ability. So if we have a little look here. Look at mulching, look at rolled in. The mulching's actually all done. Rolled in, sort of gave up eventually. It was just... Yeah, it's been a long... Yeah, it's been too, way too long to record this episode, I think. What we're on now... Almost 12 hours in. 12 hours in, and yeah. Boost that is doing the grass working out, like the mowing, that took four and a half hours, plowing, similar time ish frame, and again, the mulching now. Also, we did a couple of bits here and there in between, maybe some product over in that side to side. But yes, yeah, so we've got the header up here, and like I said, we're going to keep it. However, I want it to match the Reaper, so. Besides for needing paint. That's what I like it. The one thing I never do paint something, so neon red. Neon red and rims. Uh, they can go with a no not a blue. Chrome? Chrome blackout. Sure. That costs us nothing. Repair the Reaper, like how we put £10 away on it, I don't know. Actually, even repainted the header and that. Again, that's one thing I never do, is repaint stuff. But yeah, so we'll just pop that here, and in the next episode, we'll get cracking on that, because if we have a look. Our crops. We got our wheat fields are ready to harvest. We're going to get straw. And of course, we will windrow that. However, one thing I'm going to be doing in the next episode is try something out a bit differently. Obviously, we've got all the grass fields to fertilize, and technically, the extra grass fields is only get one application of fertilizer. I think we can put a second application down when we are ready to harvest just before we harvest it, but so yeah, we've got a bit of a similar theme of unrealistic stuff, so we got the tankers with the case. That's unrealistic. That is ten thousand litres. Got the hardy AM5200 Delta Force, twenty-five thousand litres of liquid fertilizer. And then we've got the Hardy Mega 1200-liter tank, which is actually holding 10,000 liters, so... Are we going to need all of this? No. I guarantee you're going to use the full 45,000 liters of liquid fertilizer. But yeah, it's just something different. Like, I don't mind experimenting things, you know, change things up. Do things here and there. I'm just to see how much it seems on one pass. At least got that bit of sunflower I don't need to mulch. And actually, where's the fertilizing? Do I have these two? Nope, they don't need fertilizing, but yes, yeah, so this needs its second application, and this needs it first. Obviously, the bits are in blue ready, or the bits I already didn't plow or I already didn't plow or whatever plow seed whatever it is but yeah see not even at 98% yet and we've only used what about 400 years on this stretch so I think we've gone a bit overkill with the fertilizer as typically we do on this series is overkill with all the mega fields are now like uh, really I don't know why I do this to myself like why especially with the grass now like the shape of the fields as well because just I guarantee it would be 
quicker we've got rid of some of those trees over there. And we'll just be done with it and just run into all the tricky panthers and that. Just keep it square and rectangular. Like that's a mega field with the sunfire, that's four plots of that. That is the same amount of plots we bought. Has it take us much as a time to do? It took a while, I think, but not as much work. Yeah, I don't know why I do this to myself, but anyways, that is where I'm going to leave it today. So next time, we got to continue with the fertilizer, we've got the harvesting to do, we've got the straw collection. And then also we've got the silage, that'll be ready today. I think that's on like 77% already, so that'll be done in a bit. But anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, it's been Farmer Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.